Today we're going to create a step and repeat pattern useful for step and repeat banner, step and repeat poster, and step and repeat package design. For that, uh, we're going to use Adobe Illustrator. Uh, doesn't really have to be, uh, uh, well, what I have is Adobe Illustrator CC, so I mean it can be up to CS3 uh, for that matter. All right, so let's, let's begin our tutorial. Um, I already created a canvas. Pretty much, I just created a new file, so you go file, new, and you put the dimensions that you want. I already done that, and the dimensions that I have are 120 by 96. The way you do that, again, I'll just uh, show you that real quick. Document setup, edit, and you can just manually put the sizes that you need. So 120 by 96. So. We got that ready. Uh, what we need next is the logos. They're right here. So you just select all of them and drag them onto your canvas. So there they are. They all on the same layer, which is okay. That's what we need. What we can do is uh, group them. So, uh, Control G is the shortcut. And uh, pretty much they're ready in groups. So uh, one layer and each separate group. So that is exactly what we need. So let make, uh, let's make them bigger. So by that, uh, to increase the sizes, you hold shift and you drag like that, right the edge. So, uh, so the logo sizes are 23 by 6. So fairly big, so let's just make them a little bit smaller, something like that. There we go. So that is uh, 16 by 4. So we got 15 by 4. So uh, 9 by 9, and there's 8 by 8. So I think that's okay. So I'm just gonna uh, gonna use that size. So let's. Uh, the next thing for us is to put all those logos on uh, one line, one straight line. So for that there's a shortcut, so you hit Control R. There's a ruler pops up on the sides and on the top. So you just drag and drop it like that. So that's a one straight line. You can also see that on your layers. So let's uh, let's lock it down, which is uh, one little button right here. So you lock it down so you cannot move it. All right, so next thing, let's just uh, take our logos and put them on the straight line. I just realized they are uh, still too big. So I'm just going to decrease the size of that one. So that's, uh, that's about right. I like that. Let's make this one a little bit smaller. There you go. That's, and uh, those two can... Maybe a little bit smaller as well. Okay, so there you go. So the next thing we need to do is we need to copy them, right? So uh, for that, you hold Alt. Your mouse will uh, change. You it would sort of be like two different pointers at the same time. So uh, hold Alt, Shift, and left mouse button and that will move your logos horizontally. There they are. All right, so we have one line, which is pretty much ready, right? So uh, let's take another line and drop it like somewhere right here. So let's copy that. Actually, before that, let's lock that guideline as well so we cannot move it. So then, you take that, you hold Alt, Shift, and, oops, sorry about that. Alt, Shift, and left mouse button, and you drag it, and drop it like that. So that, something is off of that. So what we're going to do, we're going to shift our logos horizontally, so they a little bit more scattered on our uh, step and repeat. So again, we hold Shift, and, uh, Sorry about that, just select that real quick. Hold shift, 
and move it. Um, so let's do it something like that, maybe. So those two, again, shift, and so let's move them this way. All right. Okay, so I like that. I like how it looks. Uh, I'm just gonna center it again on the canvas. So I got an even net, even sizes on the side and the top. So let's hide the guideline. Looks all right. Let's turn it back on. Okay, so let's add another guideline. Okay, there we go. So let's lock that. So next thing you want to do, you want to hold Shift, Alt, and drag and drop it on that line right here. So now while it's still selected, hit Control D, and what it will do, it will copy it and paste it all the way to the end. So there you go. Now we can delete all three guidelines. All right, so there you go. So um, pretty much this is it. Your uh, step repeater is ready to be printed. Um, so all you got to do is just save it, file, save as, and save anywhere you want. So there you go. It's tutorial PDF and save. And pretty much this is it. This is how you do step and repeat. Did you know that we can design, print, and ship most signs in less than 24 hours? Call me at 858-568-5133 and I'll make you a sign that shows the world that you're open for business.